tell what I realized, right? I just realized, like, I know why I started Smile, Schooling Mothers of Youth on Love and Effectively. I know why I started that because back in, like, I really have a heart for young women, especially young women who are pregnant, like, first-time moms, like, uh, moms of multiple children, single moms of multiple children, like, I just always have such a heart for those women, but I realized over this last year or so that I'm really talented with working with the mother-daughter relationship, like, mom and teen daughter, like, that's really my knack right now, like, mom and her teen daughters because it's an epidemic like moms and teen daughters are fighting like fist fighting like like raw dog whooping each other's asses out here and it's really stems from mom's trauma and the cycle has just continued and, and they don't know how to stop it and here I am, like, I'm literally a cycle breaker. Like, that's literally my gift. And I just come in and I'm like, if you have the ability to think outside the box, like, if you have the ability to and the courage to um, kind of just, like, stay in your lane and or keep people out your business and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can work with you. Because that's, that's just, that's what I've been doing. And I realized, wow, like, these moms are just like thanking me and you know like uh christmas time we're gonna get you a gift like they're already thinking about gifts that they're gonna give me like what do you like you like candles like already thinking about what they're gonna give me at christmas time and i'm literally just coming in and showing them how to love on each other because mom is hurt and if you are mom mom i love you it was not your fault. You are worthy. You are beautiful. You did not deserve to have your innocence stolen from you. You did not deserve to be talked down upon. You did not deserve to feel unworthy. I'm so sorry that somebody made you feel like that. You know? And so she's raising a woman. You know? And these these newer generations, they don't be on. Like, they, they don't, um, like, have a filter. Like, they they here to tell it like it is like they're not like the generation we was where it's like be seen and not heard like go over somewhere and shut up like no this generation got they got their voice and they using their voice and what's happening is the mom can't take it because the truth hurts so if you're trying to tell your mom she has a problem and your mom is like no i don't you got a problem and then you got and then you just going back and forth and arguing with one another like that's just that just stems from hurt and pain and trauma but we can work on that we can we can work on loving each other we can work and practice hugging one another every day we can practice saying i love you before they go to school like these children are going to school parents are going to work y'all don't know if y'all ever gonna make it back to see one another at the end of the day like we we gotta change this trajectory of how we start our day like like the teens are literally getting kicked out the car like get the fuck out of my car you know or hurry your ass up or you miss if you miss this fucking bus i ain't taking you to work like the whole day starts off just so negative and you don't even know if you go you don't even know if your child gonna have an active shooter at their school you don't know if somebody gonna bring a gun to the school you don't know if you're gonna see your child at the end of the day we all just take that for granted but this day and age like we don't know so we have to work on our relationships, especially with the children we've birthed. These moms are so hurt at them own selves, at their own younger child, at the hurt child. They're so mad at that hurt child that when they see themselves and their children, they're taking out that frustration on that child. And it's not that child's fault what you've been through when you was a child it's not your daughter's fault that you were raped or that you were abandoned stop stop taking your issues out on your children and y'all get some help i love y'all and i'm just grateful to be in the position i'm in and that i can help i'm only one person i'm trying i'm working on multiplying myself you know but hey if, if i if i can help one then then that one can help the next and then that one can help the next and let's just change the cycle y'all all right love y'all peace